Jamaica is concerned. There are other countries in the world that have their problem with, with, with um, homophobia. You know, a lot of countries in the Middle East have that problem, have that situation where it's, it's their culture not to embrace that. But yet still Jamaica stands out as the leading homophobic country. You know, how come you don't hear about that within the Middle East? Why? Because they have oil. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Jamaica don't have oil, so yet still, so let's attack it, you know. Part of the problem is some of our artists have been a little bit outspoken on the matter. So they shed so much light to it, you know what I mean? Like they say, if you don't put fuel to a fire, it won't burn. You know, if you continue to put the light on that, then that's all they're going to know you for. Where to me, Jamaica, there's a lot more going on than people sitting down there worrying about who is sleeping with who. You know, it's a beautiful country. There's a lot yeah, of strong culture within it. The music of reggae music is not a music that sits down there and, and preach homophobia homophobia or whatever, you know, homosexuality or, or what it is, not that type of music. The music is an entertaining music, it preaches love, it's a revolutionary music, it's a music of, 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 of easy going and good times, you know, it's a year about reggae thing summer, it's, it's, it's fun music, but yet still it has been tainted and coated, you know, under the, 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 the label of homophobia. So I think it's just too much emphasis. Mm and time that is put on it, that is tamed in the music. It's not every artist, you know, everybody is entitled to their opinion. It's your right to have an opinion. Yeah. So you might have a couple of artists in our repertoire, in, 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 our, in our little organization, our, our, our fraternity of music, that has that opinion. That don't mean it's everybody's opinion. But yet still they make it seem as if it's everybody's opinion. Yeah. Too much emphasis is placed on it. There's too much more things. This mm. music of reggae has a bigger message than that. Mm. Yeah, and this island of Jamaica, there's a lot more going on, yeah. see, than yeah. that. So you take a small situation, a small group of people, and put it at the forefront at, at the biggest thing, then it will send the wrong message. Mm. Mm. So that is my impression of it. Right. Yeah. And um, about, uh, like, you know, the uh, Coco Tea came out with a song for, yeah, of, for Obama. Obama. Yeah, Sorry. how do you feel about it? Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's flattering, um, you know, actually I heard the song yesterday for the first time. I've been hearing about it, but I heard it for the first time yesterday and part of it, I didn't hear the whole thing. Uh, I think it's given him a lot of exposure, you know, he's clearly on CNN, you know, I think the world who didn't know who Cockerty is, now they know who, that he was a guy by the name of Cockerty. Um, you know, I, I, I can't, I think Obama is one of those candidates see, that are one of those candidates that, that basically is admired by not just Americans, but the world. You know, and Cooper T is basically saying that in his music. Here he is, you know, a little reggae singer from Jamaica, and he's admiring the fact that, yeah, this man has a presence that makes the normal guy in the most remote parts of the world stand up and say, yeah, I like what's going on, you know. Because again, you know, America has this you know, this, this, this uh, picture by the international community as a, as a, as a place that, you know, yes, it, it spells democracy, but a lot of people sometimes question just how democratic it is, you know. But when you see that somebody like a Barack Obama can actually rise, you know, and it is unity within black and white, and it is pushing towards that, even though there's so many negativity that is coming up. But he seems to hurl over these things. It makes people realize that, you know, the presidency of the George Bushes and, and um, you know, uh, John McCain's and these people, you know, <laughs> yeah. is, is not all Americans think the same way. Yeah. You know, so the Europeans or the rest of the world might say, yeah, all Americans are like George Bush. But not all Americans are like George Bush. Some of them are like Barack Obama. Yeah. You know, some of them are of African descent and, and Muslim background and, you know, uh, Middle Eastern background. And some of them are, you know, multicultural families, yeah. you know. 
So it's not just one type of people. <laughs> you know, it's not just redneck type of people. You know, they're Italian Americans. <laughs> Let's not leave them out. You know what I mean? So it, I think that is it. It is a good thing. So big up to Coca Tea. You know. You know what I mean, I, 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 I wish I, I wish him all the success with the, with the song. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have a kind of a cheesy question, but I was asked because yeah. you're considered very like very sexy singer and uh, with a lot of sex appeal. So like, do you have uh, any suggestions to Italian guys that want to have your sex appeal to? <laughs> to <laughs> uh, put it this way, man. He's an Italian guy who wants to say a few words. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm going to say, have him hang out with Italian Americans. Then you'll probably get no girls. But, um, <laughs> um, what can I say? I mean, yo, you, you know, it's, it is simple, you know. You know I mean, you, a woman either likes you or she doesn't. There's nothing you can say in. In, in this world to convince a woman otherwise. You know somebody you fancy, you mm. know, and there can be a guy in here that people look at him and say, oh, that's the latest man. And he just does not appeal to you at all. Mm. Mm. You know, you can't just look upon it as a cookie cutter thing where women are concerned. Women are, women are smart. Yeah. <laughs> you know, women aren't, aren't stupid, you know. Mm. Women know what it is that they like about a man. Mm. You know what I mean? So to sit there and say that there is a, a routine or a way to get women and that it works on all women, mm. that within right. itself is a sexist, <laughs> if I may say so myself, mm. you know. Uh, I think just being a, a genuine person and, and completely honest, no matter what, um, you know, and complimentary wouldn't hurt. <laughs> you know, is 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 not a bad bad way to go. It's not a bad start, and the rest is up to you know your chemistry and and, and your vibe within with that person that takes it the next level. So. And the last it. question for the ladies, <laughs> because there is a lot of mystery about your family, but you're actually married with nice kids. So I'm sure that a lot of girls are going to be fuck. But anyway, can you tell about your family? <laughs> how, how got your woman to, to seduce you? How, how did she get to marry you? No, I've known, I've known, you know, I've been seeing this person for the last nine, nine years. So, you know, we were friends before we became involved. So, you know, after such a period of time, um, you know, young, younger person get to know each other well. Um, I have two sons from a previous relationship and a little daughter from my present relationship. You know, I'm not married, but I've been with this person for a long time. And, um, you know, it all is well, you know, can't complain. I'm, I'm, I enjoy them. Uh, they're actually out here with me on this, this little tour for a short period. That's good. Uh, they leave tomorrow and then we continue on. So it's, it's good, you know, it's part of the family. They're part of our own. Everybody from my tour knows them. And, gets along with the kids and everything so you know it's been a little rough for the last couple of days because it's been <laughs> non-stop but you know I think they're, they're ready to go home now and get back to their normal life instead of living on a bus and going into hotels every night yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but overall yeah it's, it's a good vibe you know uh, yeah. right thank you so much <laughs>